This channel and its videos are intended for general audience. Hard at work. One day Thomas came into Natwood Station with Annie and Clarabelle. He was tired and couldn't quench his thirst. You've been to every water tower along your branch line. Something must be wrong, said his driver. Diesel heard this, and as Thomas was getting a drink, he oiled alongside. Oh dear Thomas, you don't look well. We'll all feel bad when you go, and I'll make sure your branch line is taken care of. He sneered and roared away. Later on, Diesel was pulling a goods train to Brindam Docks. He noticed he wasn't pulling very well, and the train felt twice as heavy. Oh, come on, you lot! He growled at the trucks. Then, a red signal appeared ahead. Please change green, but it didn't. Diesel had to stop. He waited as Thomas popped by with his local train. Stop him for a stupid steamy, he muttered, and Diesel revved slowly along the line with his goods train. Diesel arrived at Brendam Docks, tired and worn out. Oh dear, Diesel, you don't look so good, called Cranky, and Diesel rolled away. Ah, he looks like he's been heaving an anchor all day, said Salty the Porter. Diesel was tired out and felt very hot. Then there was trouble. He stopped altogether and smoke billowed from his engine. Ah, now I'm the one who's broken down, he thought. Thomas was just heading back to the yard as he saw a plume of smoke in the sky. He raced as fast as he could, but as he rounded the bend, he saw Diesel making the smoke. Are you alright, Diesel? Thomas asked. Diesel was too tired to reply. Finally, with the help of Thomas's driver, they stopped Diesel from belching smoke. Then Thomas coupled up with him. took Diesel to the works. A few days later, Diesel was repaired and headed to Natford Station. But as he was rolling along, he saw Thomas struggling with a heavy goods train. I'm not going to make it to Bigstown. This is too much, Thomas panted. Need any help? asked Diesel. Thomas was surprised. Yes. These trucks have been troublesome all morning, Thomas promised. Diesel went and found the loop line and coupled up to Thomas. Together, with all their strength, they finally got the train moving. It was hard work, but it was better together than alone. They rumbled along the main line and passed very surprised engines.
Then they finally reached Vickerstown Station, where Rebecca was there waiting. Well done, you two. I can take it the rest of the way, she puffed. As Rebecca went on, Sir Topak came onto the platform. You two are really useful engines. It seems, Diesel, you have learned your lesson about making ill remarks about Thomas. Now head off to the sheds. I'm going to give you two the rest of the day off. Thomas and Diesel puffed home tired, but happy that they had worked together.